At 14,560 pounds, you're going to need the right truck to pull one of these. We are in dually country here, but if what you're looking for is a bigger, wider, taller, higher appointed, heavier insulated RV for seasonal or full-time use, then congratulations, your search is over. This is the 38 REFS Pinnacle by Jayco here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and she is a beauty. This floor plan is just a destination monster, and when we open all the slides up in just a second, you'll really get to see that. But I do like to take a minute to show them closed because at some point you do need to travel and get there. Now, a lot of times when you have opposing slides on an island, you really block off major access to the refrigerator, and that is the case here. Someone's going to ask, can you open at least that door? And the answer is no, you can't. The island will bump it. I wish it were otherwise, but I'm also not going to lie to you folks and steer you wrong. You do, however, maintain access to quite a bit of this little like dry storage over here, so you can sort of get her loaded up before you head out. Um, now, moving upstairs, we're going to come back to this, but I'm... Uh, I, I mean, I am in love with this revised bathroom right here. This is beautiful. And of course, we do maintain full access to your king bed bedroom up here. And I love those little accent lights. So if you are traveling at night, you just need to hop in and out real quick. It's simple and easy to do. And more so than I think almost any other fifth wheel I've been in, you step inside a pinnacle and you just think to yourself, relax, you're home, you know? It has that feel, and that's really where these have proven very popular, are folks who are looking for that full-time experience where they're just going to have it, especially a model like this. This is a great model just to have parked somewhere, you know, whether you're going to snowbird, sunbird, full-time, whatever, you know, seasonal. This is a great RV just to have placed in a location. We'll come back to this middle kitchen in a minute. One thing I do want to address real quick, whenever we start looking at really high-end stuff like this, uh, uh, it's always interested me that a lot of folks say, um, okay, I'm looking at a Pinnacle and a Montana. And I've always thought it's interesting that they compare the two, and especially being a Pinnacle and a Montana dealer, we hear that quite a bit. And the reason I say that is because Pinnacle and Montana don't compare. Montana and North Point are head-to-head -head comparable. Pinnacle is a step above both of those. Now, if you start adding a legacy package to a Montana, it gets a lot closer, but Pinnacle still has things like the 102-inch wide body that you're just not going to find in other things. That's really one of the other main defining qualities between this and a North Point. Um, so let's take a peek at the living room here. Uh, where do I? Let's start up top. I love this, I don't know, decorative barn beam, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But all the this thing has so many lights in it. It lights up in here like crazy. Whether you're looking at the accent lights in here, the indirect accent lights above the entire overhead trim through the living area, everywhere, under the sink, under the, uh, the countertops, just all over the place. This thing has just incredible amounts of lighting. It also has incredible amounts of windows, and they all open for airflow, including these dual theater seat side windows for excellent airflow. And all three of the windows that wrap around each of the uh, high to bed sofa slides also open. And because these are extra tall, like seven foot ish uh, slide outs over here, they have room for big windows and overhead storage. Now, all of your windows are going to have day and night roller shades, so you can really add as much or as little privacy or light as you would like. Especially nice and really hot uh, camping situations, you can pull these shut and you just straight black the sun out from getting in here and heating up your RV. Now, um, real quick, I want to come back here. We've got this beautiful hardwood countertop in the back of our entertainment center. Um, and you have a power up down HD TV hidden inside of that. And that hides basically behind that electric space heating fireplace, which is an electric heater with a remote control, but we call it a fireplace. Now, this is something Jayco does a lot in the North Points and the Pinnacles, is you have that power up down TV with a window behind it. So like right now, if what you're looking for is that fresh air and you want all the scenic viewing and the natural light and whatnot, you put the TV away in a sense without having to actually wrestle anything. You just push a button and the TV powers uh, you know, down through that power lift. And congratulations, you now have a rear window with like, I don't know, about 290 degrees of viewing all the way around you. Um, Another thing I want to point out here, and you'll really hear me talk about this more in the upper deck, is things like Pinnacles and North Points are taller. They're roughly four or five inches taller in both the living room, well, really, the whole roof line. They are bigger and have more headroom and space and breathing room in that regard. 
Now, one thing that you're not seeing is the air conditioner, and this is Nerdism number 37 here at Halet RV, and that is, if you see the square, you'll hear the air. And this has dual 15,000 BTU whisper ducted air. So whisper ducted here in the living room and the bedroom, they each have their own separate thermostats, but they all work together through the same centralized ducting system. And uh, really of note is the, the quieter, cool air conditioner in the bedroom area. That's another thing that they've done here that really takes it over the top. Now, uh, this is a couple's rig, but for guests sleeping, you do have these uh, dual fold open high to bed sleeper sofas. You can use one or two of them. What's nice is you can still kind of get through the RV when they're open. Um, now when everything's closed back up, you also have this handy little uh, floating cushion ottoman with some storage inside of it. It's just an extra little footrest or an extra seat that you can jump around wherever you want with a little bit of storage inside of it here. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything before we move on. I've been criticized at the length of my videos and that's something I'd like to know guys. If you would like my videos to be shorter or longer, let me know because especially on something like a Pinnacle, this is not something I can cover in 10 minutes. This is a very high level, very involved product and there's a lot of specific aspects you need to know about it. Um, so over here, we've got a power theater recliner with heat massage, uh, actually more of a love seat setup the way that they have this put together here. But I like that they didn't go extra wide. It's still plenty enough for two large adults. That's not an issue. The wider body of this RV actually sometimes makes people say the furniture looks smaller and it's because you have this extra wide walk space over here. That's due to the fact that this is a bigger coach. The furniture is not smaller, the coach is bigger. One little detail thing they did over here, well two I guess, but another little hardwood side stand but I love that it goes all the way back so you've got plenty of room for like a little reading lamp if you're a little bookworm but also having your own little uh, power hookups for like uh, you know tablet, laptop phone charging, anything really, right there next to the uh, the, the sofa is awesome. Um, moving forward here, in our kitchen we've got all solid surface countertops and uh, it, it just, it you're not going to find anything other than solid surface anywhere remotely close to this product, but it sets everything off and it kind of sets the tone. But to really appreciate the kitchen, we need to open it up. What do you say? Right when you walk in, you've got some very deep, impressive storage capacity here. And it's really the cabinetry that is one of those areas where I say that the pinnacle is a level above what you typically find in the marketplace. Most RV manufacturers stop at the level of a Montana or North Point. They don't go the next step to the pinnacle. Very few actually do. And one of the areas you can tell you're in something different is if you reach back here and touch the styles, you will see that this is not a sticker wrapped lumber core. This is stained hardwood. This is actual like rubbed hardwood right here with your nice hidden hinge cabinet. So that's one of the things that you're getting here that you don't typically find in the marketplace. Now, big overhead storage, and I love the open sort of, I don't know, gap up top for personal decorative sort of items. Up top here, we have a max air ceiling vent fan with rain sensor and wall controller. So if it does start drizzling a little bit, which it might be doing outside right now, I'm not sure, um, that will close itself right up if it starts to be kind of a, a critical situation. Very handy in the kitchen for not just getting airflow, but exhausting cooking heat. Uh, awesome. Now, all sorts of uh, just open area to like for staging space, uh, whether you want to put appliances over here, it's a great little appliance corner for the coffee maker and whatnot. Great lower storage as well. And that big black box in the bottom right corner is your converter panel, by the way, for those who are not familiar with those things. Um, we've got our 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer here. That is an optional piece of equipment. You will find these either with a residential fridge or the gas electric. Um, there are advantages to both for certain. We vastly prefer the gas electric here though for um, reliability reasons. Electric only residential refrigerators are not designed to be bounced down the road. This is not a diesel pusher with an air ride system and an auto gen start backup. This is a fifth wheel. There are still differences between them. That's one of the reasons this doesn't have the same $250,000 price tag as one of those beautiful diesel pushers. So this gives us all the big cold storage we need. It's very uh, travel friendly. It's very reliable. Um, and God forbid you are like, let's say you're like, well, I'm not going to travel with it. I don't care about that. Well, what if you lose power and you're not there? This will kick over to um, gas automatically and you'll never even know you lost power. It will take care of you. And the reason we know that is because Mr. Halet used to camp in a pinnacle when they first came out with residential refrigerators. They lost power. He had a seasonal site. And after being gone from his campsite for one week, when he returned on a Friday night to go camping, 
They got to start their adventure by cleaning moldy hamburger juice off the front of their refrigerator and the whole thing smelled like a meat locker. And, uh, so we decided very quickly that maybe the residential refrigerators should stay in residences and an RV refrigerator should stay in an RV. Now, one of the things that an RV refrigerator does well, I am always uh, try to be fair and do a point counterpoint with you, is the actual refrigerator itself, especially mounted in a slide out, is better insulated. It will keep temp easier. And that's one of the reasons we put the slide out awnings on top of our pinnacles. Think about it. If you are over here under the patio awning on a hot sunny day, why are you under the awning? And the answer is for shade because it's cooler. What do you think those slide awnings are doing up here? They're shading the slide. They're not just protecting and reducing maintenance. They're also keeping the slide cooler. And on a big five slide monster like this, it makes a big, big difference. Now, pinnacles are extremely well insulated among the very best, but anything else you can do helps. We've got a convection microwave here. Um, you know, just that extra notch above to kick this thing into more of that residential feel. Now we've got a, uh, a sealed burner, again, residential style sealed burner stove top here. Um, it's very easy to clean. You don't have to like half disassemble the thing to clean through it. And this has so many drawers that we have drawers inside of the drawers. And one of my favorite ones is actually just this very top one because you've got your silverware organizer built right into it. But when you don't want it there, it slides out of the way and you'll see that these are all residential soft closed drawers. Now by going with the bigger body on this coach, they could actually go with a bigger island. This has more square foot of countertop and prep space here by about six inches from what you normally see. Six inches deeper, I guess you could say. Um, so that creates deeper, bigger space. Like you can kind of see behind the sink how there's that much extra space here because the body was wider. Now you've got your handy little pop-up power post here with both uh, residential and USB plugs. So once again, you are always within reach of anything that you need. And you have additional outlets right here below the countertop line with more drawer space and dedicated room for a wastebasket. Now you've got this uh, uh, skirted stainless steel sink. There's a lot of S's involved in that. And there are dual solid surface covers. So you got <laughs> skirted stainless steel sink with solid surface covers. That is a lot of S's right there. <clears throat> Alliteration aside, they're very deep and you can actually clean big stuff in them. Now over here, your dining table arrangement. It is, generally speaking, this is going to be, again, primarily a couple's RV. However, sometimes you're gonna have guests. And that's why you have the uh, extending leaf right there in those dual fold away uh, guest chairs. They can hide under the bed, in the closet, wherever you want. Now one of the other really neat things here is you may have noticed there's no legs under that table right there. There are no knee knockers. There's nothing that's gonna scratch and gouge you. And that is something as a person with long legs I've struggled with my whole life. Thank you, I appreciate that. You also have a little bit of what I call the dining desk, where you could kind of use this for just extra general storage for like um, napkins or whatever, but it's also kind of handy to keep like maybe work documents or a little laptop there if you are more of a work camper, which is part of the reason they have a power outlet right there. Now once again, what I, what I really like about this slide out though, is it gives us the opportunity to have windows all over the campsite of this RV. So you've got like nearly 10 windows between all the slides in the hallway and the door and everything all over the campsite of this RV. You have more windows over here than the other side, so you always have a good look at what's going on on your campsite. Before we go upstairs, I wanna point out the little central vacuum cleaner with the electric dust pan. And what I mean by that is whenever you're hooked up to 110 shore power or generator or whatever, you can sweep everything here. Now you might notice there's a little bit of shipping debris and construction debris still in this RV like right here. Don't worry about that. It won't be there when you take your RV home. We are a no fee dealer. We don't charge extra for dealer fees. We don't charge you extra to get the RV shipped here, to get it cleaned, to get it quality inspected several times actually. Uh, propane fill, battery, electric water surge protectors, those things don't cost you extra at RV. So don't worry about the little particulate. We've got that handled. This RV is literally fresh off the truck. So you can uh, sweep everything up here, pop this up with your toe, sweep it into the collection unit, and there you go. No dustpan, no nothing required. Now these are um, like thermal foil sort of uh, steps right here. They are not hardwood, so they're not going to be quite as slippery when you have your socks on them, but they're also a lot nicer than just a linoleum step. As we come up here, a couple things I want to point out. Our um, master control panel here, I'm going to kill a bunch of the lights to make this easier to see, but you've got a lower accent switch here, and you can see how all the way under that countertop, under the fireplace, you've got lighting. Um, there's, oops, I'm kicking stuff now. I bumped a little uh, guard here for the strut on the zero G steps. 
I guess that's a good anti-intruder item or just general camera idiot item. Anyway, so you can see that we've actually got lights in the bathroom and in the bedroom as well. They're all on one switch so that if you do need to get up at night and it's the perfect, perfect little, perfect, ha! <laughs> Uh, air traffic controller light to be able to see everything including an LED inlay in that sink so you can see where you're going. They have absolutely cranked this thing up several notches. Spe oh, no, before I go up there, I want to talk about LCI One Control. So your whole RV can basically sync with your phone via the One Control app. Now, what's neat about this is a lot of, you've had the ability to remote control things like your slides, your lighting, your awning uh, off your phone for a few years. But this now allows you to control your leveling system right here straight off of your phone. And what's cool about that is it's not just leveling control, but it's also, let me zoom in a little bit, maybe you can see this. It's also got a leveling indicator, so you don't even need to stick on bubble levels to the outside of your beautiful luxury fifth wheel. You've kind of got all that built in right here. You've also got, of course, your auto level button, and then this one, the auto hitch button. This has a programmable hitch height memory right here, so that the, the RV knows where it needs to be up or down to hook up to your truck. And if for some reason that gets out of whack, grab your phone, you can lift and lower the nose of the fifth wheel without ever getting out of the truck. It is a true one person hitch and setup. Um, <laughs> you are in for a treat. This bathroom though, oh my God. Oh my God, this is the most residential looking bathroom I have ever seen in any RV. It is just stunningly beautiful what they did. The, the entire surround here, how there is just like no step up into the shower. It is the most residential looking feeling thing I've ever seen. And check this out. You need a place to sit in your bathroom for personal convenience, comfort, safety? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've got it right here. Now, as we come around the corner, you actually see how there are, uh, this is a like whole sliding sort of panel right here. So you do have your sliding enclosure. I mean, it is just awesome what they've created. We have our height adjustable uh, shower head right here. And uh, what's also kind of cool is, again, being extra tall, I've got all sorts of head space in the shower, even with my head all the way against the wall. On my toes, I still can't touch the ceiling at its lowest point in the upper deck. I'm 6'3", by the way, on my toes right now. Um, over here, porcelain foot flush stool and just tons and tons of leg room over here. I love more of that same uh, kitchen matching solid surface countertops, by the way, with a real tile backsplash. And I love how it wraps around that radius, just hugging you in this bathroom right here. Deep stainless steel sink that, you know, adults can actually wash their hands in. And another of those wall controlled max air vent fans to give you awesome airflow anywhere you really need it. Now, you've actually got a magnet lock right here on the sliding pocket privacy door so that the door doesn't pop open on you when you're in the bathroom and you know cause a embarrassing situation up here in your bedroom another <laughs> another room with awesome lighting if I can find the correct switch there we go um I mean because they're not just using a lot of lights they're using high intensity lighting in this thing it lights up like a Christmas tree in here now up in your headboard area they have a little touch sensitive dimmer switch now you can just flick it like I did and you can get lights or you can put your finger on it and hold it and you can get a dimmer. Again, very nice for watching a movie at night or if you are, once again, one of those bookworm types. Now Pinnacle's backwards for most fifth wheels in that a king bed is standard and you have to option down to a queen. I doubt you'll ever see a queen bed Pinnacle in stock at a dealership for general sale. Um, that's probably something you're going to have to custom order. I don't expect most people are going to, to build it that way though. Um, there's a big push toward king beds and big things, but because they planned this for a king bed, you have room to walk around the bed. You have a nice little shelf there with power outlets on both sides of the bed. So uh, whether it's CPAP friendliness or you know just phone charging or whatever, you're good to go there. Now remember, we have whisper ducted air up here in the bedroom. You have dual whisper ducted 15,000 BTU air units. Again, they have their own thermostats, but they each talk to each other. So both air unit helps kind of cool the entire RV. But another thing that they do very well in, in a pinnacle here is this beautiful front closet and all the storage below the bed. So once again, this RV we're looking at is fresh off the delivery truck right now. So you're gonna see random accessories and stuff that you may or may not need, want, or use under here. These are just all the little widgets and gazmos and gizbangs that uh, get shipped along with one of these things. Now I did throw 
uh, the, the, well, not throw, I'm sorry. I put the box with the 32-inch uh, bedroom TV in it under there so that you could kind of get a sense of depth and scope and scale. So this includes living room and bedroom TVs, and we will typically option the outside TV that goes uh, basically right on the face of the slide out on the campsite onto one of these things. Now remember, guys, wide body, bigger closet, and taller bedroom. So once again, if you're a taller person like me, you've got all the headroom in the bedroom. I like that, that you could ever hope for. This is huge, it's fantastic in that regard. Stackable washer dryer ready. Uh, otherwise, you just have these awesome little shelving units and you actually have those on both sides. This is a symmetrical closet. We have true cedar lining up front and I love the extra deep shelving that goes up into the nose cap. They don't waste an ounce of anything here. And again, for scope and scale, the, this is the outside TV box and the giant 50 inch flat screen TV box shoved up here in the closet and it looks small by comparison. It's not, it's not that it's a small TV, it's just a massive closet, and that's kind of why they call it their walk-in closet. There are full body paint job options available on these. They look sharp, but I've never felt the Pinnacle really needed it since they went to this current exterior. I think it looks great just how she is. I don't think this girl needs makeup to look pretty. I think she's all right just in her natural state. Now, there are so many little difference features on here. And you're gonna see some, some brands will do some of the things we're looking at here, but nothing's going to do all of them that we're looking at. Let's start with a lot of things have gone to these Moride stable steps right here. What's cool about this, this is the zero gravity self-supporting system that won't clobber your head if you're sitting under it, case in point. Now, the detail things here too, like they're using a bigger entry handle on these pinnacles to make coming and going easier. They also have both wider and taller doors. This has like a six and a half foot tall entry door with that full big window. And that's the thing, it's a window. It's not just a clouded piece of glass. So you actually get to see out of it and there is a privacy shade on it. Now we've got the uh, dual magnet latches on these double slam latches right here, or magnet catches with slam latches to make getting in and out of the storage area easy here. And you go from a 12 inch to a 10 inch drop frame to give you this monstrously large cavernous storage compartment. Now. They also added a handy little shelf unit over there just to really kind of maximize on the total function storage space you have. Now this always has uh, the uh, outside TV hookups right here in the basement, but uh, you can option in the outside TV onto the face of the slide out as we have done with this one. Your central vacuum collection point there. Notice that we don't have any of that uh, automotive carpeting on the floor in here uh, because that's where moisture would tend to collect. Also, you see how you have that little feed hole down there for things like cables and whatnot. And that's a good way to determine that this is fully skirted. The skirting actually does wrap all the way around. So you don't really have any thermal gaps between the, uh, uh, like where the I-beams stop and the sidewall starts. Now let's talk insulation for a minute because there are quite a few, uh, you know, pieces of misinformation out there about R values and RVs and stuff right now. Pinnacles, uh, well, Jayco's really, were among the very first, if not the first, to actually test and publish their testing data on every single model they build with the slides open in an, in what you'd refer to as a worst case camp scenario to pass zero to 100 degree testing. And not only do they pass, but they also pass with higher ratings than pretty much anybody else out there. Little things like this are part of the reason. So down here, of course, we have a heated enclosed, fully uh, insulated underbelly but it doesn't just stop there. That's where it starts. And that is probably enough to get them where they wanna be. But they go a step further with a fully insulated upper deck. And you can see that they're using the better double-sided uh, thermofoil here, not the single layer kind of hot dog, papery looking stuff. And that persists all the way through the upper deck. You actually have the same thing running down the nose cap, double layers through the roof, the slides, even above the pin box. There's no thermal gaps in this thing anywhere. That is part of the reason they're able to achieve better cold camp testing data. Now, as I mentioned uh, previously, this is a big coach. Not only is it taller inside, it's also wider outside. This is a full 102 inch wide body with a matching wide body chassis. And that's another thing that you really have to try to look for. If you kind of look at where the, uh, the landing gear is up front there, you can see how they're outside of the I-beams. That's how you know it's a wide body chassis. That's one of the indicators. So, the slide out awnings that I talked about previously, those are optional pieces of equipment, but this is how we do generally bring our pinnacles in with that extra protection. Again, not just to reduce maintenance and upkeep, but also to protect the slide outs from excessive heat exposure, which is very beneficial once again for that refrigerator. Um, 
Let's talk ride and handling. Uh, let's talk smarter. This has Jayco's smart lighting system. So when you uh, flip on your, let's say your right turn signal, since we're looking at the right side of the RV from the driver's perspective, upper clearance in the front and back and all side marker lights along with your tail lights will blink with that turn signal to give the drivers on the road a better understanding of what you're doing. Other than Jayco's, no other luxury fifth wheel on the road has this feature currently. Up front here, we have built this one in this video to be generator ready. And it does more than just put a little bit of heat shielding and wiring in this thing. It also vastly upgrades your propane uh, capacity. This is outfitted with triple 40 pound propane tanks when you make it gen ready. So we've got 120 pounds of propane on this thing. Now, it's you, you definitely have to get 40 pound cylinders filled, not exchanged, but when you have 120 pounds of it to go, you generally have time to find a filling station, not a problem. Five star ride and handling package starts up front with our Moride shock dampening pin box. Now what I like about the Moride, it's a little more expensive, but it has not just front to back shock dampening, but also side to side. So when you pull into things like a gas station or a campground, when you're pulling and turning and going over bumps and jumps, that's when that extra pin box comes in handy. Now, of course, we have our Moride suspension system in the back, the compression rubber equalizers uh, between your tires, but we also have Goodyear Beast tires. These are the same tires they're using on the Jayco Seismic fifth wheel toy haulers, which can carry insane amounts of weight. They're rated for up to 87 miles an hour uh, at 80 PSI, and you can't just throw these on your existing fifth wheel. You, these tires are massive, and I don't know how well this translates into a video, but these things are enormous. But uh, they had to literally redesign the chassis to move the axles to accommodate for the bigger giant tires that they're putting on this. They're putting some of the biggest, highest grade American source tires available anywhere on here. It's one of those best in class kind of features. Now, LED tail and marker lights, I won't spend a lot of time on that, but it is amazing how many other big fifth wheels still don't have LED uh, marker and clearance lights. Over here, we've got our fully enclosed, protected, uh, heated docking center. The back side of that where all your gate valves and everything are heated with a very easy to understand. If, if you can look at shapes and colors like my daughter can, then you can manipulate and control the entire water system on this very easily. And notice how they put the instructional uh, panel there and not here on this rough textured uh, slide uh, or um, oh, uh, door right here. Well, that sticker on this thing on a hot day, it's just going to peel off. And then you're going to be absolutely clueless how to operate this thing here. Now we do have a simple side mount solar prep here for trickle charging, but this also has roof mount solar prep that we'll talk about in a little bit here. Larger uh, 10 gallon gas electric uh, fast recharge water heater, meaning you can run gas and electric simultaneously. A lot of people have asked, why did they quit using the 12s? And uh, the answer is because the 10s recharge the same amount as the 12 and they're less expensive. It's just a better, more efficient water heater. SantaCon is an option you can apply to most Jayco fifth wheels at this point, and it is an extremely popular one. Basically, guys, you don't need any sort of sewer hoses or anything. It's all built in right here. This has a power macerator, which is very much like a garbage disposal on a kitchen sink. It breaks up solid mass to be able to exhaust faster and more easily. And there is a manual bypass if you don't have 12 volt power available. We haven't had one of these fail yet. Any uh, Jayco fifth wheel that is uh, SantaCon capable is always prepped for it if it's not optioned on from the factory. So keep that in mind too. Uh, six point auto leveling. With, we already talked about the programmable hitch height control and the fact that you can control it right here from your phone anytime. And this is another one of my favorite things on Pinnacles is the 50 amp uh, electric extend and retract power cord right here. So with the single push of a button, it does all the heavy lifting for you because 50 amp cables can be very heavy and kind of cumbersome. And it's really nice to have a little bit of assistance there when you're doing that. Uh, high gloss walls, frameless windows, sliding side windows, of course. We are backup camera ready. That is suitable for both backup and observation models. We like to put a little accessory hitch on the back of these so that if uh, you do have like a bike rack or something like that, it, you can actually keep a bike rack on this without voiding your warranty. And there's a whole nother ball of worms conversation, RV warranties. So this has double the RV warranty of basically anything else out there. You're going to say, yeah, but I heard about these ones with a three-year warranty. That is structural only. We are a dealer of like Keystone and open range fifth wheels as well. They have a one plus three warranty. They have a one year RV warranty with three year structural and they can't, three year structural warranties can be comprehensive. They can also be very non-comprehensive. But the fact is 
Jayco's full two-year warranty covers more things for longer than any structural warranty ever dreamed of. And generally speaking, those structural warranties are things that are known to not fail. So it's more of a feel-good warranty. Now, peace of mind is worth something. I'm not saying it's a worthless, silly thing. I'm saying that this is a more real-world coverage for actual use. But you need to purchase what you're comfortable purchasing. Now, little things, let's see here. We've got plywood, tongue and groove, uh, 5 8 plywood, tongue groove, floor decking, 3 8 plywood, tongue groove, roof decking. We've got 2 by 3 aluminum studs every 12 inches on center on the floor running longitudinally through the coach, which is why this has heat vents in the floor. That's another thing that folks need to understand. There's nothing wrong with cabinet ducted heating. There's nothing wrong with floor ducted heating. They each have advantages. Floor ducted heating like this here in the Pinnacle, though, is proven better airflow for cold camp situations. You do, uh, cabinet ducted heating keeps the vents out of the floor, but you also reduce your airflow. So which one is better depends on your target for camping. Again, we have optioned on the uh, outside uh, TV here. Now this is, they put a big plate on the wall to mount that thing onto, and we'll have that installed for you before you take it home. Once again, straight fresh off the truck, this one. Then just the little things, like the fact that the speakers are low mounted instead of being like way up high in the RV. So this means they don't have to have a hole drilled through the side of the RV, two of them actually. And speakers are actually down low where you can hear them. Um, I think we've pretty much uh, covered it at the ground level. Let's take a step up top learn a little bit about the roof construction. Having been on a lot of different roofs in this business, as I seem to be one of the few people who, you know, advertises RVs that steps on roofs on a given basis, and we have quite a few here I've been on, one of the first things I always notice whenever I'm on one of Jayco's luxury fifth wheels in North Point of Pinnacle is just how solid it is. We are walking on their Magnum Trust XL6 roof system, which is basically the strongest roof system devised in this business. Um, it has dual uh, interior and exterior six inch vaulted arches. So uh, a lot of RVs have a flat interior uh, ceiling line with an arched exterior line, and that'll give you up to five inches of uh, truss space for insulation. The trick is you lose insulation as the trusses get near the sidewall, and you don't have any of that here. It's equal all the way through. Now, it kind of throws some people that they're using wooden roof trusses here. There's very good reasons for it. Um, Wood can be built very heavy duty. It can, it just can also be built kind of cheap. And that's the unfortunate part is the cheap uh, aspect of it is what people are known for. If you look at almost any of the high-end luxury fifth wheels through most of history, most of them have roof structures similar to this. Jayco's is rated for at least 4,500 pounds, in some cases more. Um, and you know, because it's thicker all the way across, you're getting even insulation all the way across. Now we are also on uh, wide body plywood roof decking, tongue and groove plywood, not OSB. So that's another thing that Jayco's done here. Tongue and groove plywood has a greater um, uh, weight uh, capacity across the span as compared to four by eight sheets of OSB. Other things you're gonna notice up here, the fact that we are uh, you know, ready for roof mount solar. That's what this little plug is over here. And if you notice where they have it located, I'm backing up going on a roof here. I, I, I'm trying not to kill myself, so sorry if the camera work gets a little wacky but you've just got massive real estate here to put those panels. Sometimes I've seen roofs where you have a roof mount solar prep, but the only open space is way up there and you don't have that here. Now we've got dual uh, 15,000 BTU low profile air conditioners because these things are so tall in the living room and the bedroom, as I mentioned in, uh, inside. Pinnacles and North Points are taller inside. They do go with the low profile air conditioners just as a matter of happenstance. And the last thing I like to point out here, well, two things actually is first off, the fact that they are pretty heavy handed with all of their sealants and they do a nice clean job of it. It's not gooped and slopped everywhere. Very clean execution out of the Jayco luxury plant. And then this little guy right here. This is <laughs> apparently the, the check-in guy inside was playing with the fan and he uh, popped that open for us. You can feel, wow, that is really pushing a lot of air out of there. Holy crap, you can't feel that from home obviously, but I can right here. Anyway. Um, this little uh, vent cap right here, this is the exhaust, the chimney exhaust on your black tanks basically. It causes more air to get pulled out of that tank so that you get better odor control and uh, chemical breakdown of everything that needs to chemically break down inside of that tank. So there you have it, inside, outside, upside down. This is a cut above what you're typically going to find out there and we are no strangers to different RVs. We are very well qualified to make that statement and assessment. So if you like what you see, Give us a call. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.